Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to install external secrets operator on a Kubernetes cluster and connect it to AWS Secrets Manager. External Secrets Operator is a Kubernetes tool that integrates external secrets management systems with Kubernetes. The operator reads information from external APIs and automatically injects the values into a Kubernetes secret. Firstly, let's install external secrets using Helm. I've copied the installation commands from the official website. Execute them one by one. External Secrets Operator is installed and running. There are several core custom resources. Here they are. In this demo I am just going to use External Secret and Secret Store. The Secret Store defines how to access an external secret management system or provider. The External Secret specifies which secret to fetch from the provider and how to map it to a Kubernetes secret. External Secret Operator supports a lot of providers. You can see a full list on the side. In this demo I am going to use AWS Secrets Manager. By the way, on each provider's page you can find useful information on how to connect it to external secrets operator. In our case we need to do several steps. Create a secret in AWS Secrets Manager. Create an AWS policy that allows reading from AWS Secrets Manager. Create an AWS user with an access key and attach the policy. Create a secret with the AWS user's access key and secret access key. This secret is required for the secret store. Deploy the secret, secret store and external secret in a Kubernetes cluster. Let's begin by creating a secret. Open the AWS Secrets Manager page and click on Store a new secret. Select other type of secret. Type in a key and value, for example, key and value. And move on to the next page. Decide on the name, for example, my AWS secret. Click on Next. Skip optional settings. Review the settings and store the secret. The secret is created. Remember the name of the secret and the key. We will need it later. The next step is to create a user with an access key and a policy that will be attached to the user. Let's do it. Open the IAM page. Click on Policies on the side and start creating a policy. Choose Secrets Manager. Expand the Read tab and check all read actions. In the Resources section click on Add ARNs. Check any region and any secret. Move on to the next step. Enter a policy name. And create policy. We are ready to create a user. Let's do it. Choose a name and click on Next. Select Attach Policies directly and find the created policy. Move on. Open the Users page and go to the Security Credentials tab. Click on the Create Access key. Select Application running outside AWS. Click on Create. Copy your Access key and Secret Access key. We are ready to deploy Secret Store. First of all, we need to create a secret with an Access key and Secret Access key on the Kubernetes cluster used by Secret Store. Paste the values from the previous step and deploy the secret. Well done! By the way, I attached all the files used in the video in the description. Let's deploy Secret Store. Check the region where you've created your Secret Manager. In my case it is Europe Central 1. Also check the name of the secret that we created a few seconds ago and the secret keys. Deploy the Secret Store. Check if the Secret Store is ready. Alright, finally let's deploy an external secret. Here is the manifest. Check the name of your secret store, paste the name of the secret created in AWS Secrets Manager and the key in it. Apply the external secret. As you see, our external secret is synced. Let's check the list of secrets. AWS Secret is created. Check the value in the secret. Good, the value is pulled from AWS Secrets Manager. That's it. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you. Goodbye.